If you're watching later, hi, I'm alive. And I'm alive. Hi, Glutes Motivation One. Barney Dash, Valexing, Rickles, Seville Joyce, hi Joyce, Sobo Da Hobo, Hannes, Han Haynes, Hans, hello, Jamie, hello. How are you guys doing? I'm wrapped up in a cozy yellow blanket waiting for Danny to get home from work. He had to work really late tonight. So I thought while I was waiting, I would pop in and say hi, give you guys an update because I've kind of been MIA for a little while. Um, so I'm gonna save this and those who wanna watch can, and those who don't, don't have to. So, just saying. But yeah, um, I have been, hi Jamie. Hi. Hi, Shani, you've been on my mind and in my prayers. So glad to see you're here. Thank you so much. I love you. Doing okay? Hi, Jasmine. <clears throat> um, I have been going through some things that I didn't feel brave enough to share on YouTube. And so that says a lot because I literally share everything. <laughs> But uh, still trying to deal with these things. I just want to pop in and at least let you guys know I'm here and I'm alive. Um, my plan is to come back to YouTube soon, but I don't know how long that's going to be. Um, and I have a video. I have in mind a big video. Uh, another day in the life video that I would like to get up. So as soon as I'm done with that video, I will come back to YouTube. Pillows the Chi Weenie. Love that name. Been thinking about you, dearie. Hope you're doing okay. Thank you so much. I'm okay. I'm okay. Hey Shani, haven't seen you in a while. You've been on my all on my mind. Thanks, Jasmine. I'm doing okay, guys. I'm alive. Just uh dealing with you know, I I think I'm also trying to gain the confidence that I need to come back and um it's been really hard but really good lately like i've been doing hard work but it's good you know always hard work is always good um but yeah i've been doing really really intense therapy and working on myself in other ways and just focusing on resting and taking care of myself and trying to treat my body as as well as I can um yeah Celia um but do you guys have any questions I don't know how long I'll be here I'm gonna save this just so that people have some sort of an update because I really I don't know when I'll be back to YouTube but hopefully soon but I don't know what that means so yeah so does anybody have any questions that you think anyone really care that much everyone's <laughs> probably like we don't miss you at all Jenny, but whatever um kelly hi lovely leo eyes nikki o3 glitter gloop glupker love that you guys have the coolest names in the world it's so cool carlisha that's a fun name carlisha phoenix Ooh, how's danny danny is good He's stressed. He's going through a lot too. We're both kind of going through a lot. But he is keeping busy and working a lot. And he loves his job and everything, but it does get stressful. And the thing that's been going on, he's doing really well. So he's good. I'm good. I'm better than I was. I'm having a good couple, last couple days. Um, but it, it's been, yeah. Katie, question, what's one thing you want us to know about what you've been up to? I don't know. I don't know. Katie, is that Danny already? I didn't think he'd be home so quickly. That was fast. Let's go see if that's Danny. Better be or else there's a burglar in my house. That's really cool. <laughs> a big 
great. Anyways. Oh, it is you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Val X Hing says, Hi, Danny. I'm live on Educating Shani. So I cooked the chicken separate this time so it wouldn't get super dry like it normally does. Great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cauliflower. Chicken. Potato. I made stir fry. Lemon pepper chicken stir fry. It's our favorite. What did you do? Can they see this? Yeah. You built that? Mm -hmm. How? I don't know. Wow. It's nine by nine. It's a nine foot thing. Is it's it fake, a shower? Fake towel. Yeah, shower. Oops. So we'll bring a fake shower head in over top and we'll bring these curtains all the way to the floor. Who the hell has that big of a shower? Nobody. It's showing off the the big panes of glass. Ignore the blue because that's holding the thing together yeah. for drying. That's cool, baby. Pretty cool, huh? We just built yeah. all this stuff, and it's a it's a it will not move. You can't move it. Like it's done. Yeah. One of these panes mm -hmm. is two hundred and fifty pounds each. So there's two fifty five hundred. Just you and Jojo did this. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Two fifty five hundred. This is probably another seventy, another seventy, another seventy, seventy. So how did you guys do that? Uh, just. Jojo's like a hundred pounds soaking I know, wet. Yeah. How on so, earth? No, no offense, to Jojo, because bless her for helping me. But yeah, she was awesome. It was it was her holding it, and I would be just lifting the hell out of it and pivoting mm -hmm. everything. Oh. Are you showering anything? Okay. I'm gonna fill it home and paint and yeah. Boy. I'm proud of you though. Huh? I'm proud of you though. Should I put the corn in? No. No. You're great. Okay. I like it. Okay. Sorry, now I'll pay attention to you again. Okay, um, someone asked... Um, Shannon, I know you're looking forward to doing the stug weed plant plant, but I think I'm just too tired and I gotta get up early, so you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow. You know okay? I'm saving this and your family could watch it? Yeah, yeah. This is on my public That's account. Not, I don't care. I need, I need everyone to know that I need to shut you down. So that you're too tired for sex? No, that, 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 that I really want it. You really want it, and I understand that. Really, I've been really what? You've been on it for a little bit. Yeah. You know, which is understandable. I'm a pretty smart <laughs> guy, but I, I, I'm just like I feel I should take my time and rest so that I'm well rested for tomorrow because I gotta get up. So you're gonna give me a pass? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a pass. Thanks, tomorrow. honey. I'm I know, sorry. I know you might take that part later on. And I uh, Ooh, that's a good question. What do you think the coolest thing Danny has made is, and what's his favorite? I think the hamster wheel might be. Or like the Plinko board. All the big, huge projects you've done. But I also love your armors, like Groot. Yeah, Groot and Mark 1. And, well, mm -hmm. now the Predator. I mean, that's... Yeah. What's your favorite build you've ever done? For myself or for a film? Either. Like that. That was a cool yeah. show. Animatronic uh, light detector. Mm -hmm. uh, a remote control light detector. Yeah. The big cake I built for him. And I wish they would bring that show back. Me too, Dad. I want to work on it. That was a good show. Okay, go shower real quick, hun. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, someone asked about my tits 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 anna love that um how's your physical health doing sorry bad english um i am uh <laughs> really great i've never been better it's been rough um it's been a big part of where why i've been gone um been rough but i'm super lucky and blessed to that I, I don't know how to say it, just that I'm able to just rest, you know? Um, I feel really terrible for all the people out there that 
have chronic health issues like I do, especially more than one at a time. Um, but they still have to go to work and go to school and do all these things like and be a parent. I don't know how they do it. They are superheroes in my mind because for me it's it's a struggle to just survive every day and some days are good, some days are bad. Yesterday was a really good day. Today was a really rough day physically. Yesterday was good though. It just kind of comes and goes, you know. But I'll 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 let you in when I come back to YouTube. I'll let I'll let you more low. I'll let you know more detailed of what I've been going through. But it's just been kind of the same stuff that put me in the ICU uh, a month and a half ago, six seven weeks, eight weeks. When was that? I don't even know. I don't know. But I'm okay. I'm okay, and I'm really doing everything my doctors want me to do but there's still a lot more to be done i guess yeah um hi kim k how are you chanel how are you dear how are you doing Shani? i miss you and, and and your live videos so much i know i need to go live on here more often i miss you guys sending you so much love and strength Shani. you are so so strong thank you so much chanel you're so sweet so are you. And I couldn't do it if I wasn't, like, surrounded by the most incredible people, which is you guys and my family and my friends um, and obviously my husband. But, like, I feel really, really lucky that if I need encouragement, I can just, like, pull up a video and read the comments and see encouragement and remind me to keep going and to not give up, you know? Good. I'm glad you're doing super well, Chanel. What's happening to I miss dinner? <laughs> I decided to go live. It's been a while. No, dinner finally just got done. Took way longer than I thought it would. But it's really good. <sighs> yeah. But, um, yeah. So, oh, Katie, I'm glad you're here. My plan is to film my next day in the life video. Katie, don't say what it is. Katie's going to be in it. Um, Katie is perfectly incomplete for those that don't know. That's my friend Katie. And she's going to be in this next day in the life video. And this is a day in the life that I have been wanting to make for probably five or six years and just haven't had the guts to do it. And I'm still nervous about it because obviously the world is so sensitive and I'm worried that I don't know if it'll be too much or if it'll, I don't know, but I think it's a really good idea. I know it's a good idea. Um, I just have to do it. So I'm work that's kind of what I'm working on next. Thanks, Chanel. Thank you. I was literally just thinking of your day in the life videos. They're incredible. Thank you. And this one is a lot more broad. This one, so I've done day in the life of bulimic. That was my first viral video. And then day in the life of overweight anorexic also went viral. Um, and so this one does have to do with mental health, but it's not. Um, yeah, it's a lot more broad and it's, um, yeah, it is a good lesson, I think. And it also just, just like with everything else I do when I do that kind of project, it's to bring awareness and to let other people out there know that they're not alone. If this is what their life looks like, they're not alone and that help is available out there. Um, cause for me, my whole life validation has been the biggest thing that helps me heal and helps me do better is when people validate my feelings and validate that I'm not the only person in the world going through it. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? I don't know. I hope it helps people, but it's a, it's a, it's a risky one. I'm not going to lie, but we'll see how it goes. What's your question? Kath Robertson. Hello, Fiona Blossoms. Yeah, yesterday I had a really good day. I got up and I showered and washed my hair and I went to therapy all by myself and we did some intense EMDR, worked through some things, which was really hard, but really good. Um, okay, have you recovered from your eating disorder? I used to have one, recovered now, but still gets hard at times. Oh, I'm so proud of you for recovering. No, I have not recovered fully from my eating disorder, no, but I'm on my way there and I'm doing really well and I haven't had behaviors 
for anyone wondering, I haven't had any eating disorder behaviors since the ICU, so it's almost two months now. So that's good. But no, I don't consider myself fully recovered. Not yet. It makes sense. My family is always annoyed when I talk about mental health because it's always here in my whole life. Yeah. Well, when you live with it, it's, it's hard. It's It's like when... And bless these people, but some I've had people in my life that I know they're just trying to help, but like there are people out there when they get depressed or whatever, they do yoga and they feel better. Some people get a hobby and they feel better. Some people, you know, get massages or do something super active and they're better. Um, sometimes it's just not that easy for some of us. Some of us have clinical depression as well as circumstantial depression and when you have both of those those at once it feels like a never-ending hole like there's no you don't even have a desire to do something that would make you feel better like you don't have the desire to be happy and I have a lot of people in my life who have struggled here and there with mental illness but they have desire to be happy and I'm like what is that like you know what I mean that's the hardest part about it, in my opinion. Thank you. Thank you very much. And yes, it's out of fear because I almost died. So, you know, that's why I haven't had behaviors since then. But yeah, thanks. Thanks, Katie. Yeah, everyone is different and everyone copes in their own ways. But we all just do the best we can, I guess, is all we can do. But I have great support. I have great family and friends. And I have you guys. And I'm, I've been very close to just giving up on YouTube a couple times recently. In this break that I'm taking, I've been... Keep wondering if, like, am I strong enough to really do it? Because YouTube is changing. It's so much different than when I joined. When I joined, it wasn't as massive as it is right now. Like, now everybody has a channel and everybody has, like, it's massive. And so back when I joined, and I wish I had joined even earlier than when I did, to be honest, because, oh, I wish I would have gotten in on, on that action. You know, like 2013, 14, when all the fun challenges and stuff were going around. Like, that was so fun. Um, but YouTube is so much more complicated than it used to be. And I just keep questioning, like, am I even strong enough to handle it? Cause it comes with a lot of opinionated and rude people and I'm really sensitive. So I have been considering leaving YouTube. Um, but there's just something that won't let me let it go. Like, I feel like I belong there for some reason. So so I'm not leaving. I just, I'm going to not go back till I'm ready again. And then if I need to take more breaks, I will. That's another thing I'm learning about myself is you might see me on YouTube for two weeks in a row and then you'll see me not on it for two weeks in a row or whatever because I have mental illness and that can cause depressive episodes and manic episodes and all that stuff. So anyway, it's, it's, I don't know. But I just, I I think it's because I just always wished when I was like a teenager, young adult, I always wished that there was someone out there that would like validate what I was going through because that's what I desperately needed. And so that's why I do that. Um, But I also don't want my channel anymore to be just like education on eating disorders because people are starting to expect like perfection from me and and say are saying that like I'm dangerous for kids and stuff and so I need to figure that out and make sure that I'm not because that's the opposite of what I want to do on there um so I'm just trying to figure it all out and it's a lot um but I'll, I'll get there I'll work it out I'll figure it out I know I will it means a lot to me and yeah anyway Sorry for that rant. I don't know. I don't even know what I just said. Mm. Ugh, yeah. The sentence I hate the most from them is, Anna, you're 35 now. Get your shit together. Yep, it's awful. Please don't ever say that to someone. Please don't ever say. And don't also please never ever say, um, 
I have the same thing you have and I can do X, Y, Z. Why can't you? Like, we're all different people. Like, there are people in my family who have the same mental illness as me, but their brains are wired differently and their bodies work differently and they're, they don't have the health issues that I do on top of the mental. And so you just never, you know, like never, it's just don't do that. It doesn't help in any situation at all to say something like that or to say, you know, you're 35 years old already, like grow up, get over it. Like some of us, listen, for me personally, I guess I should say, I know that I am stuck at a certain age for the most part. I've got a very young mindset, um, but that's because I had, that was when the most trauma happened for me. And so this is something that I'm working through. And when people make fun of me online about how my bedroom looks like a little girl's bedroom and I've got stuffed animals and Barbies and rainbow everything everywhere and like making fun of me that I'm a kid like that's actually comes from trauma and also I just like that as well like even if I didn't go through trauma I feel like I would still love like rainbows and unicorns and Barbies and stuffed animals and stuff that's just my personality and that's okay you know, you just never, I don't know, just, I just don't, I don't know why people feel the need to judge people so harshly and just like, why do you, is it affecting you? Like, is it bothering you in your life? If it is, don't watch me, you know, and you do you boo and let me do me. Just saying. I'm 36 and, and still trying to get my shit together. Yep. I get that. <laughs> I'm almost 38 years old and I'm not, I don't, I'm off, I'm, yeah. Uh, when I was in the depths of my eating disorder, I obsessed, I was obsessed with reading and watching everything I could find on eating disorders. Yeah, so, and that was my main reason I wanted to do YouTube, because I was like, what if I created a space where I talk about eating disorders, and then all the pro anapromia or like the people searching for that, would click on my videos and see um see the consequences of eating disorders and the ugly side of it you know what i mean so yeah that's something that sucks about youtube you can't have certain sensitive topics yet prank channels and stuff like that are perfectly fine oh i agree so hard there are awful, awful prank videos out there that make me sick, honestly. I'm stuck at a certain age too. I'm 37 and I'm stuck in early 20s. Yep, I feel you, girl. Yeah, YouTube and also that's the other thing is like YouTube doesn't like me because I say a lot of buzzwords that they don't like. They don't like mental health and I can't say eating disorder. I can't say bipolar. I can't say self-harm. I can't say rape. I can't say all these things that are well, rape is different, I guess, but like all the mental illness turns, terms, those things like, why are we silencing that? Why? Seriously? There are people out there that are pranking their children that like when the LeBrant, remember when the LeBrant family, does anyone watch them? When they like prank their child who was what, six, seven at the time and told them that they had to get rid of their dog and they kept it going in a video for like 20 minutes and this little girl was sobbing like so her heart was shattered that they had to get rid of their family dog and then like half an hour later they're like april fools haha and the little girl's like how do, like that kind of thing can be on youtube but we can't address like mental illness that most of the world has experienced at some point in their life cool awesome youtube so proud of you Like, come on. Yeah. Not all family vloggers are bad, though, in my opinion. There are really good family channels out there um, that are very wholesome and pure, and they don't exploit their children, and they don't even show when their children are upset on the video. They protect their emotions and stuff. So, yes, YouTube does have double standards. It's the worst. You ready for bed? Me too. All right. I'm going to go. I started yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go. Um, thanks for hanging out for a little bit. This is my little update. Yeah. For views or money. It's really bad. Um, it was the LeBrant family, Sav and, and Cole, who I actually like. Like, I've always liked them. 
and they told their little daughter that they were getting rid of, they had to get rid of the family dog and they let her cry for like so many minutes straight and just were like laughing behind her back about it and then told her April Fools and she just was devastated. It was really bad. So anyway, all right. I love you guys. I'll see you really soon. Okay. And thanks for being patient with me. I love you. And remember forever and always that you're beautiful. You're worth it. And I am too. Love you guys. Bye.